Hi, I'm Paul, also known as the Alknet Guy, and what I'm going to do right now at this time is to show you how I'm making the Astro Spies. And I'm going to show you the reeds that I'm using that I feel personally are the best ones to use for that particular task. We're going to go ahead and try a couple of different ones, but first of all, remember how the reed goes in your mouth. This one here is the Raging Bull Reed. You can see it has the pallet plate, the little roof design, the latex on the bottom. The reed goes in your mouth with the, with the little pallet plate or the roof, just like that. The horseshoe end that is open with the latex exposed right here goes just like this. Goes forward. Goes just like that. Now, let's try this reed here and see what it sounds like to do an estrus buzz. To get an estrus buzz, what you're going to do, and there's different, different variations of it, you can use your voice. For one, uh, for one of the, the ways to do this, more like when the elk are coming in much, much closer and you want to make more subtle tones, kind of a, you're using your voice, kind of a, you see the difference? With that little growly sound in it with voice inflection, you can get that real low, nice tone as cows are coming much closer together or one cow group to the, uh, toward another, actually inviting them, letting them know where they're at to come on over this way. But this is what this sound is right there. <coughs> They'll use that nice, subtle little tone. For more of a location sound of an estrus buzz, what you're going to do is you're going to take the call and you're going to rattle it much, much more, like you're going to give a lip ball scream. A lip ball scream is kind of done without the call in your mouth, going You're trying to imitate that tone. So you notice how closed my lips are, but not tight? And you're trying to get that. You notice I'm not blowing real hard and, and out of air. Now when you put the call in your mouth, in the right spot, which is the mouth read uh, little clip that I made, we'll show you how to do all that. We don't want to cover too much here. You're going to make uh, contact with the latex, with the center of your tongue for best results. And you're going to give it a, a sound like I just showed you. And now you're going to touch the latex on a very low tension, not real hard. You don't want to push real tight against the latex. You notice how I'm combining the two together now? Almost like a little cow sound and that little... And it's automatically vibrating the latex is why the, the tone changes. So if you're going to use an estrus buzz as a locator, you want to get loud with it. Throw a few little cow whines in with it. Now you notice how I'm getting that tone. Now if you want to change it up, all you got to do is kind of smile through it, and it'll change. It'll make the bro it'll broadcast that that tone out to the sides. Now listen, I'll do it both ways. You notice how it throws it out to the side, and the cows will do this. They'll they'll have that sound going this way and that way and long and short with a few mews in between. And when you do that loud, this thing is almost as deadly as a good location bugle. The cool thing about it is that it's usually a sound that elk only hear within their own ranks. And so you don't see many hunters uh, using this sound. So in highly pressured areas, this sound can be really, really deadly. It's really good. Let me use the Mellow Yellow. This one was the Raging Bull. Here's the Mellow Yellow. And we'll listen to the tone di uh, difference. When I'm locating, I will do sounds as loud as that. But you notice you get that nice little buzz in it. And now we'll go to the closer call. To me, this is the easiest one to do it with. It's a one and a half reed, 
and it seems to work really, really good for this tone, for this sound. See how you can mix it up? All of them can make the sound, but it seems like this closer, to me, it's one of the absolute best. So remember, what you're doing is you're vibrating that latex. You're using your voice for one of the more subtle ones. As the elk come closer, you don't need to go to that loud one anymore. You're located, you've got them, uh, uh, their interest, they're letting you know where they're at. They want you to come, get in there, lower the tone down a little bit, let them know. Don't just do the same broadcast with a very loud one. But we've had elk come in, cows, bulls, everything on a dead run with that locator sound and just hammering it and hammering it. So it's a really, really deadly sound. Very, very good one to use. So remember, all I'm doing, that's what I'm doing past it, just like you would do for a lip ball, except you're doing it in a more controlled manner. It takes practice. So don't think you're just going to throw the call in if you've never done it and have those sounds coming out like that. So be diligent, be persistent, use the right call. A single read to a one and a half, very light tensioned read, and I'll get into another little clip here that shows you the different tensions in the reeds and the ones that are best for a particular sound. Thank you very much.